Hello everybody, how is it going? Today we have something a little bit different. I wanted to do a review of the Pixel XL case that I recently got because I haven't, there isn't any reviews of it out and I think this case is really cool. What this is, is this is the iBlazon Armor Box case. And I had one of these on my Nexus 6 and I really loved it a lot. And I was excited when they were finally coming out with one for the Pixel XL and I just got it in a couple of days ago. Now to give you an idea of how this case works, the way it works is this little piece right here snaps onto the front right here. And I was kind of nervous about this when I originally got it because on my Nexus 6 it grabbed onto the very back right here because you have this glass. But this one actually doesn't grab onto the glass at all, which you can see which is good because this glass back here is pretty fragile. Now this thing does come in with a come with a built-in screen protector, but as you can see on my Pixel XL here, um, I have the Zag tempered glass one on it, which I really like it. As you can see, it's kind of bubbling up on the edge right here, which which is fine because I typically don't really touch right there. But the reason I actually cut the one that see you can see through, I actually cut it off because this case is really awesome minus a screen protector. Because when I have the screen protector on my Nexus 6, it ha it's really slick. It doesn't really grab. Like when you touch the screen, it's your finger slides too easy. There's no bite in it. And after a while, the screen protector gets scratched up a lot. And it sucks because you can't, act, it, like, it takes away the the greatness of the screen. Because when you have the tempered glass here, it feels like you're touching real glass. And the actual good, the greatness of the screen actually comes through. So what I did in mine was I just took a knife, a really sharp one, and I cut all around the edges. Now you can't just, you can push it out, but the reason I cut it is because as you can see along this little lip right here, there's glue that holds it in. So I just took my knife and I cut it all the way around because I didn't want that glue to actually get on my phone. Now be careful when you cut this. I cut all of it out and then I took a file and I hit it, the little areas that were still sticking up because they, it gets rather sharp. And I actually cut my thumb uh, just randomly feeling it right here. So let's put this together real quick. The way this works is you just kind of snap it on the front right here. And then you take it. And this is kind of the tricky part because it's sort of like an otter box, but it actually sits inside of this. And it is kind of tight when you first put it on. Just kind of how you want it anyway. And there we go. Got it on. Alright, so as you can see it's in there and it has it's very raised right here, so if you something hits it, it's not gonna actually contact the screen. And the cool thing is you have um you have some little tabs here that block your ports, so it blocks the USB C port right here, and you have one that blocks the headphone jack right here. So that way dust doesn't get in it. And uh, dust, 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 blah, blah, dust does tend to collect, like right here, for example. Also, the case itself doesn't interfere with the autofocus on the camera. I know some ca some cases have been causing the autofocus to screw up, but I tested it a bunch, and it doesn't it doesn't really affect it that much. So you can still take your pictures great, and as you can see, look, it doesn't interfere with the fingerprint scanner at all. Buttons still feel really good. Now this case does give the phone a little bit more girth per se which I like because it actually fills out my whole hand. I had this um, gel case on it previously and it doesn't didn't exactly give me the, the girth that I was used to the girth that I was used to with my Nexus 6. Overall I really do like this case. Now if you like a case I like it because it keeps it really thin and you, it still has you know it has some extra bumpers here on the side. I want a case that's going to protect my phone and not going to crack the screen. That's what I care about most. A lot of people like carrying their phone naked, they like their phone thin, that's not how I am. I like something that's going to protect it from falls and stuff like that. Overall, this case is very great. If you're looking for a case that's going to give it you know, pretty much maximum protection the entire time you have the phone, I would definitely recommend this case. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As some other cases that you found that you've liked. I know a lot of people like the Spigens. I've never used those before and I had a great experience with these, so I'm going to get it again. It comes in black, blue, and white. 
I was going to originally get the blue because I like the light blue because I like that color, but I figured just to go with the black because it would make everything look nice and all tied together being that my phone is black. Well guys, let me know what you think about it. If you have this case, are you going to get this case now? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, I'm going to be out. Peace.